and welcome to day seven yes we have arrived and the seventh key is really about still letting go yes maybe letting go is one of the biggest things that we're actually learning and there's many different aspects to that the letting go today is focusing on what holds us back from truly showing up who we are and to show our light into the world. So this is another dimension of it all. We have worked with this, I am this and that and the other. We have shed the past. And today it's about what holds you really back. It may not be something that you are conscious about. It's possible. It may not be something that comes from this life. It may be something from your ancestors. So in the shamanic world, of course, we, we talk a lot about these things, what, are, what is really holding us back. And we are here to release everything. And not in a, in a way that is with fight and with anger or is with aggression. But releasing actually means really to let it go. Let go what is really your personal chain, if I can say it that way. That personal thing that is really, at the same time, this is interesting what comes. That's the pleasure of being intuitive. So there's one thing that is a chain that holds you, could be around your neck, could be around your hands, could be on your feet, could be anywhere. But the other one is actually the stone in your shoe. It's that thing that it's so difficult to get rid of. And, and it's that thing that really bothers you and niggles you. And, and, and as it comes to you and as you are truly letting go, you are invited to become a dream author. So dream author came recently, still pretty fresh, but there's more coming. But dream author really is actually something very important at this moment in time. We are very much connected and feel that energy. Even if some people say they never existed, it's all right. I'm also happy with this. But for us, the idea of, of the Laika, who were spiritual advisors to the Inca, Dr. Alberto Violdo, by the way, tells this story. And then I continue it because I love it. So they were kind of the spiritual advisors. And their main role was to dream a new world or a new earth into being. And for me, that's a dream author. So what would that look like when you are truly free from that one stone that holds you or from that chain that holds you? What would it be like? What could you author? What is your contribution to a new world, to a new earth? A friend of mine said, no, we don't need any more new world because everybody already has their own world, which is true. But yet there is also a world that we have in common. The world is what we call politics, the governments, the economics, the societies, the culture. In a way, that's the world that we live in. That we all have a different perception of the world, very clear. That we all live in a different world, also clear. So I sometimes engage by saying, I meet you in your world. And what I mean by that is, I step into your world. I want to hear what your world feels like. So maybe it's another way of saying, let me walk in your shoes so I can understand you. So this meditation today puts you in a place of letting go and allows you to become that dream author to dream that world or that earth, to dream the earth into being obviously also very important because the world, uh, the earth as we know it, whether it's flat or not, definitely needs some 
shift as well. And when we look at Schumann frequencies and all of that, we can see that there's a change energetically in the earth as well as in the universe. And so to become a dream author of a new earth or a new world, it depends what your job is, if you're more connected to the actual earth, or if you're more connected to a new world, maybe that world that we have in common, where still everybody has their own part to play. So enjoy in letting go this, this stone in your shoe and this chains that have stopped you, maybe for many lifetimes, to be that dream author for what we are all going to experience. Enjoy your meditation now. And now, let's quantum jump. Quantum jump is a form of meditation where we connect to another self in a higher dimension, another reality, in another space and time. And today we are quantum jumping to attune to our dream author. The one that has already done it. The one that is able to dream a new earth into being, to femifest and manifest with ease. Let's open sacred space and connect with the five elements. Calling in the east to the fire. Let's connect with the jungle, with the heat of the jungle, with the mountains. with your emotions. And let's connect to the south, to the element of the air, your breath, the sound, the sonic world, the air, the world of the thoughts, Calling in the west, the water. Let's connect with the ocean, with the rivers. Feel the flowing water. Let's connect with the lagoons and the lakes. Connect with your blood, all fluids inside of you. Let flow everything. And in the north, we're connecting to the earth, the element of form and shape, what we can touch and see, but also to the earth, Pachamama, Humea, Gaia, and all her children and beautiful relations, including ourselves. And now, let's connect with the love. One of the most important elements in life. Go within, into your heart. Feel that love inside of you. Feel how this love embraces you and irradiate through you and you become like a luminous body full of love and you share that love wherever you go. Being connected with these five elements, let's walk outside to a cliff 
be in there. Feel all the elements in you. Feel it. And be in preparing to make a quantum jump into the you that is already a unique and a sacred dream author to become the dreamer of a new earth. And so just allow yourself to quantum jump, to trust. Imagine you are spreading your wings as you are taking that dive into this dimension of your dream author that arose exactly how to dream a new earth into being. And so jump, let it go, let it be. And now find yourself already landing gently on the ground you're feeling already this is a different vibration, a different frequency, much higher than the one you just came from. Breathe it in. Allow yourself to, to acclimatize, to fit into a tune to that beautiful frequency here. There is sound, almost like heavenly. There's a light breeze and a perfect temperature for you. And as you're lifting up your head, you see that other you approaching you. And as you're drawing closer, you already can feel your connection. You're embracing each other. You have come to step into the frequency of your dream author. So you can be more of you at this time in your world. And you two walking for a while by a little river to share, to exchange, to attune. Your dream author, you, the key to the power of choice. So you can bring an earth into being. You're receiving that key. You put it into your heart. Knowing that even your physical form has changed now and attuned 
And with this key, you can unlock your power of choice so that you can dream this new earth into being. You're saying now goodbye to your dream author in this dimension as you are returning. Everything is fading away from this dimension and higher frequency. But you are keeping this frequency now as you are back in your space. Feeling the elements of you and the love within you very clear. Of the insights you have received and the attuning from your own dreamer and your key. And when you're ready, just blink your eyes and smile. Namaste. Namaste.